The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me, by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I've got to admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. <laughs> at least we shut those ravening few locks. You want to play the tutorial? Actually, no, because this tutorial is really dull. And hey, guys, it's big fly here, standing in the middle of the snow. And guess what? It's snake. It's solid snake. I love that voice. Right, uh, let's check out where where are we? What what's going on here? Frozen toolbox? Uh, Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. Ah, oh, no. Let's have a look at uh, Edward Snowman. The Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. Ooh, a lather. Do I have, oh, what's it? Oh, we have a lighter in the inventory. The lighter was more than just a sentimental souvenir. It also started fires. Uh, can we maybe use that with a frozen toolbox? It would take forever to melt the ice with my lighter. If I didn't get my ass in gear, there wouldn't be any forever. Alrighty, well then, let's go down the ladder. Oh yeah! Alright, uh... This way. Okay, graffiti, bold, spray can. Let's look at a graffiti first. Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Uh, bolt? The organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. Right, the, the spray can? View lock yellow. Definitely not my favorite color. Can we take it? 
That's fro- oh, freezing cold. Right, uh... Oh, a doodle. Nothing. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. Alright, well... As every teenager already knows, spray cans and lighters, uh... Well... Not necessarily safe, but... They are make do flamethrowers. I guess that will help us in defreezing that thing. So, back up the ladder. <laughs> Improvised flamethrower! Toolbox! Let's go! <laughs> A blowtorch! The blowtorch did what blowtorches do best. Now the marshmallows are all gone. Like everything else eventually. Aww, no more marshmallows? Okay, that's it. I'm quitting. No! 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 No, not doing about marshmallows. No, actually, just joking. Let's get a blowtorch. And then... Get back to the blast tower and cut through these bolts. Wait. The blowtorch did what okay. I can like it. No, never mind. Uh. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. Light the blowtorch! Aha! There we go. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, uh, quickly! Oh dear. It was easier to cut through the seal than I thought. I almost wished it had taken longer. Now the way was clear. Uh, Pry the door open. Uh! Oh dear. Oh no. Whoa. We're doomed. Oh no. Uh. Hey. Hey. Let go. Let go. Let's grab the pole and. Come on! Go! Oh! Wait, wait, that's my pointer, that's my pointer! Ah! Right, uh, uh, pull, uh. Ah. Oh. They released the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Wow, Elysium. There it lay in the snow. Broken, burnt out, and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. A uh, bump? Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Now they just snow in my heart. They're getting through. I'd better hurry. Right. So there's only the red button. Yeah. I guess that's it. The end of the <coughs> frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. <laughs> Oh no! Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon has rushed it over. Just you wait. Wait, uh. Uh, push up again? Come on! Crap! Alright, to climb onto the bump. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh. 
kick to the club. Oh, kick the fuel log. Forget it. Kick well, uh, the club. Kick the fuel log. Forget it. Stop that. Anything else I can kick? No. Stop that. Come on. <laughs> Nothing happens. Stop that. It's the only two things I can do. Oh, there we go. Whoa! To the Podia Doomsday! If you didn't already realize it. You old amorotic pinhead, act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with, looking for loopholes and wondering what if. Wow, David Hater, I love that guy. What an epic intro. Once again, welcome guys. I can't wait to play this, so I better be quiet in case there's something coming now. So he's back, yes. Huh? What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? <laughs> ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet pony about it. Oh. What? Huh? Uh. Okay. What's going on? Why is Rufus young again? And why does he still seem to be with Tony? Oh, oh well, uh, let's just have a look around the stove. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about it. Alright, uh, stove door. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. Yeah. Cold. Uh, bubble wrap. Ooh, bubble wrap. Don't look. Otherwise, it'll keep you from working for days again. <laughs> Take bubble it. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Alrighty. A wrench. I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Or, wait, that was only in my dream, right? Man, this is confusing. That seems to be really confusing. Well, let's take it. Huh. Does it mean everything was just a dream? Did we just dream the last three games? Huh. Well, let's let's just have a look around. Oh yeah. Oh. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. Huh. Right. A uh, throttle? A rope? Chug back. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Okay. Could take it. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. So we take some fit? Oh, we did take some junk. That stuff is just for looks. The last okay, thing yeah, yeah. 
I thought you would say something else. Rope. Can we take the rope? Oh, I could just do stuff with it. Okay. Uh, throttle lever. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn. The stove is still out. How stupid of me. All right. I wanted to take Tony with me, too. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's have a look at the signs. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Uh, I wonder why that is. <laughs> uh, period of glasses. Let's have a if look. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Because it looks cool. I mean, look at it. It's a pyramid of glass. It's cool. Right, let's go get him. <sighs> Seems like a simple task. Time to get to work. No, stop. This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. Huh? I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. Whoa. So it was a dream. Huh. What was it? I don't know. Well, let's get a bubble wrap anyways. Right, there it is. Uh-huh. And out. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Yeah. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Uh. Hey, stop! You can't park oh, here. Oh no. You. Oh boy. Somehow my vision missed this. Right, you. What's going on here? Hey, you. Hello? You can't park here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well then let's have a look who that someone is. Hello. Hey, you there. Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you anyway? Who are you anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. Well, it's a bit too late for that though, is it? Uh, what are you doing there anyway? What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What have you done? What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked. Heavens to Betsy. Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions. Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. <laughs> Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Uh. Turn back time. No! You... What? What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yeah, go ahead. Super plan. Uh. 
You aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, then let's pop up the question. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Who are you, anyway? Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? <laughs> when? When did I ask you for your life story? <laughs> that is a good question. Uh, well, let's ask you, what are you doing there anyway? What are you doing there anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Ooh. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Okay, uh, what happened to no contact? What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... <laughs> Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? <laughs> What's the square root of... Uh, 237,169. What's the square root of 237,169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Alright, well, uh, what do you mean, turn back time? I mean, that, 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 that doesn't work, does it? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, <laughs> I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Too late. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Oh dear. Whoa! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's uh, this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? what? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickle. McCronicle. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture, but while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? That's a good well, question. Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. Oh, dear. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! All right. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Well then, boof. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's uh, it. Come on. Come on. Uh, pink elephant? What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Oh, stop. The chronicle, stop. Stop. Oh. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! Oh great. I <sighs> hope his problems with reverse gear are limited to spatial dimensions. Let's talk to him again. Oh dear, that didn't work out, did it? Well, did it work? 
No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. Ugh. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Right. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? That is a very good question. No bot. A machine that does nothing. No wonder it landed in the garbage. Let's see to it. Open the door. What do we have? Oh, hatch ice cube dispenser. Huh. What we need here is a suitable container. Let's open the hatch. Compartment on the left, compartment on the right, okay. Seems like we need to put something in there. A compartment for paramechanical components. Power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. Oh, good old power inverters. Who would have thought it would come back? A compartment for para power inverters. Everyone. Okay, so nothing to do here right now. Alright, what do we have here? A door. What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. Uh, that might be one of the reasons why it would catch fire. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go this way. See if we can find that elephant. Oh, uh. oh, never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. Oh dear. <laughs> and there we go. Oh dear. Hello. You can always rely on Tuck to stagger through the village after closing time. Uh, let's talk to Tuck. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. Oh, so that last Nats piss was a little off, was it? So that last Nats piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last trace of Nats piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh, I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. Alright, uh, maybe you should just stop drinking. You should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting again that I can't seem to stop. <laughs> well, it's also a way to look at it. Uh, what day is it today? What day is it today? <laughs> it has me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course, Barbecue Thursday. Yes. Barbecue Thursday. Which year? Um, everything okay with you, Rufus? So so. I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved Deponia just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak. That would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. Bozo, Doc, that just can't be true. My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened. Exactly. <laughs> what fans? Oh no! If it ever happened, ah! there would have been any fans. No. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do you know where I could find Tony? Do you know where I could find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at down in one. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Alright, uh, do you know anything about visions? Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliche. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. 
Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning, too. Right, uh, but, uh, I saw the pink elephant, too. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. Right, uh... I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol. Reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. Yeah, but most likely not in a positive way. Uh, will you help me scare the pink elephant off? Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but <laughs> earlier. Oh. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened yet? <laughs> Easy. You just have to, uh... Yeah, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. Right, uh, stay vertical. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. Right, uh, to the balloon. Oh! I'm pretty sure that was a vampire platypus. Uh, yeah, but something else. Barbecue Thursday sounds like a really good idea. Every village, every town should have that. Uh, okay, uh, let's go back to the Chronicle.